Okay, I have no idea why I'm filming this. I just thought of, I don't know, let's see how this works out. Because this is the uh, Exoterra's Cocoa Husk. I'm not sponsored by Exoterra. But I want to see how much this small brick can actually expand. Because if you guys know the Exoterra's plantation soil, which is pretty much just cocoa fiber, it is in a brick as well. And they expand like a lot, like literally a whole bunch. Like I think one small brick of coconut husk, I mean cocoa uh, fiber, they can expand to this whole container. So I'm kind of curious curious as to how much this cocoa husk these big chunks actually expand to so basically what we have to do is we have to open this and just dump everything in here i mean the whole brick and then they said to put in sorry my phone's not focusing that three liters of water and wait for 30 minutes well now it's almost midnight so i'll put in the three liters and go to sleep and then we'll come back tomorrow and see how how much this has expanded i don't know as you can see now they are pretty it's very very compressed like there we go it's very very just like that check that out it's just that's pretty much it so yeah this is a tropical terrarium substrate uh substrate poor terrarium the climate tropical no idea what language that is but let's just read some stuff it is 100 percent natural substrate ideal for natural terrarium setups increases humidity in terrarium stimulates natural digging and burrowing behavior uh it is for made for compressed blah 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 from tropical asia plantations um it is for frogs salamanders and burrowing or digging animals so yeah let's see how much this will expand tomorrow i don't know is this like is it breakable can i just like oh you can actually oh, yeah you can actually break it but yeah i think we, oh did it just poke me like i have no idea i think it's like super dry that's why okay let's get some water i've got pissy be quiet i've got a container over here which is two liters so i guess i'll put one and a half of this and let's see how that works out pissy be quiet all right so here goes the first two liters mm, quick 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 all right i'm not gonna be doing like a yeah there we go just nice two liters and then we'll just pour it over the coca husk looking good looking good so far and then we have got another liter which should be like right there yeah right there so let's see it should go up till about yeah that's about it i believe so let's see hmm yeah about 100 i mean 1000 1000 ml milliliters so there we go so i'm assuming i'm guessing that it's going to just expand all around just just here not much i have no idea but it is still very very solid so let's just wait until tomorrow and i'll be back and let we'll see how this works out and yeah be right back i mean tomorrow but for you guys like right after this Yo guys, it is the next day and it is now 11.35 a.m. Let's go check on the coca husk and see how much it has expanded. Hmm, oh, okay. So it doesn't seem to have absorbed all the water, but interesting. Not really a lot, but I guess it's... I don't know, decent? I expected way more, but oh well. I guess this'll do. Not too bad, I guess. But like I mentioned, I expected way more. So yeah, that's fine. Look at that. Yep, definitely not much at all. And this container is about, I don't know, one foot. Yep, about one, one foot plus by one foot. Yeah, about one and a quarter foot by one foot. And that's pretty much as much as it gets. And it's about two inches deep. So, yeah. Oh, by the way, this costed me around $1.70.